Hey everybody, Tall Family Films here. Today we're doing sway bar end links on a 2007 Nissan Titan. This would apply to just about any car though. Um, they all have sway bars, all modern cars do. Some even have them in the rear. This particular truck only has them in the front, so we're going to be focused right here. So from the front of the truck, this is the sway bar end link right here. Right next to it, attached to it actually, is the actual sway bar right here. So to do this, I have to remove two bolts that hold the end link in. They're both 17 millimeter. Here's the top one. And then you can see the bottom one right here on the bottom. Um, and then we're going to be removing both of those to do this project. OK, so if it wasn't clear where this is, this is a good video to show. It's right behind the rotor. We're on the passenger side here. It's a, it's a very short end link on this truck, which is surprising. Sometimes they're about a foot long. Um, and all, the, all we have to do is get these two nuts off and the part will come loose and there's a little trick to that we'll explain when we get to it but the hardest part is getting the nut to break loose and then prevent the entire stud from turning inside the boot which will also happen on both sides of, of this sway bar end link so we broke the nut loose and I'm just gonna put a um, a, a socket on here and you can see everything spinning. I'm going to make it a little clearer to you that everything is spinning here in just a second. You'll actually see. So the stud spinning, the nut spinning. I have another video that shows how you can fix this on some cars. This one is not so bad because there's a big gap right there and I can put in a pair of vice grips to hold that still while I'm turning the nut. So you'll see right here everything is spinning all the way on the inside. So there's that'll never come off unless I can find some way to keep that from spinning. So here, I'm just going to take a pair of vice grips, squeeze it, and it comes out pretty easy. Okay, so let's move on to the top. I'm just going to take a 17 millimeter fixed wrench and attach it to the nut on the top. Um, again, breaking these loose is tough and you don't have a lot of room up top. I'm going to move the camera so you can get a better view and see that I don't have unlimited room above the wrench because the strut housing is in the way or the assembly for the strut is in the way. So get the biggest wrench you can that will fit in this space and then try and see if you can pull it loose by hand. 23andMe says I have more Neanderthal in me than the average human, but it didn't prove to be helpful in removing this nut. So the control arm provides me with a decent leverage point for me to try to break this nut loose using a breaker bar and the wrench. But you can tell that the entire bar is moving and that's putting enough flex in where it does not want to come loose. All right, so you have to be smarter than what you're working with. So I'm gonna try to get a better leverage point here. And that strut is gonna provide me with good leverage to do that. Okay, so for the sake of time, I'm going to speed up the video here. It's mainly your time we're saving, not mine, because my time is not worth much. And um, anyways, you'll see exactly how we leverage this thing to make it work. I want you to note how easily that came out. Sometimes it doesn't and you have to put a jack under the knuckle and raise it or lower it to get the tension to come off of it. Here is the Moog part number. Moog parts come pre-greased, so uh, they do recommend that you add more grease to them, but I chose, I don't ever do that and I've never had a problem with their parts. So um, the reinstall is pretty much just reversing everything we did. So I'm gonna speed this up for you.
Well, that's it, folks, and I hope that this video proves helpful for you. You could really help me out if this video has helped you out, and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. YouTube runs a whole bunch of algorithms, and it really helps my ratings if you do that. Thanks.